Hey guys, this is Casper with Tape, and don't you just wish you could drive those random vehicles you see dotted around the VAB and stuff? And oh wait, I totally can! Because, you know, this is part of a mod. Uh, this is actually a very small part of the mod, but yeah, it, one of the things that this mod does is add these service vehicles you can drive around and do servicing stuff to. Yes, today I am looking at um, Kerbal Stock Extension, or SXT. Um, which says the link in the description, or you can just type in KSP SXT, because Googling things is actually very easy. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this mod. I'm going to show you some of the things that you can do. Like, uh, oh, I don't know, this big old freaking cargo plane! Yeah, look how freaking big this is. Uh, if you want some perspective, here is the normal cockpit. Like, the big, the big cockpit. It's a little bigger. It's actually not that much bigger. It just has a top bit. But look how cool it looks. And there's like, um, there's like these all kinds of cockpits. I'm just gonna grab all of them so we can just take a look at all of these. Uh, yeah, basically this mod just adds a bunch of kind of stock-like parts. And not just planes. It adds a bunch of cool rockets as well, which I'll look at in a little bit. Oh, the Entente. The Entente's the best kind of army. Because, cares me. Um, anyway, yeah, look at all these. We got the big old cargo jet, we got this, I think this is a bit of a passenger jet, and there is tons of passenger parts, like passenger jet parts, like, um, although they're all weirdly instructional. Okay, I was wrong, they're not. Uh, where is it? Yeah, economy passenger cabin, I mean, look at that. Look at that, you can just, <laughs> I'll try and build up a jet without connections. But yeah, you can obviously connect all that stuff up, and there's also business passenger cabin. I've looked, they're the same. Um... <laughs> One's just smaller and carries less people. And little cargo bays, kind of like what you would usually expect in KSP. Uh, yeah, so, and like these little back things that open up um, to let your cargo out. Mine doesn't do that because, oh yeah, by the way, the face opens up on this plane. How freaking awesome is this? It's like the best mod ever. But yeah, I decided to not show off any of these planes today. I decided to go for the mentality that bigger is better because, well, come on, look at this giant plane thing. Um, and it has propellers and shit. Let's just go. Let's just, let's, just, let's just go and let's just go and fly this, and you know, show you how weirdly awesome this plane is. Because I flew something pretty much the same as this on stream last night with this mod, and it's weirdly maneuverable. It's like, yeah, okay. Let's just get it in the air to demonstrate my thing first. Um, I oh, I didn't put that much fuel in here. Very little. Um, oh yeah, because this I should have put fuels and fuel in the wings. I should probably also put um. Like, fuel in the, like, cargo bay and, like, tanks. But I forgot, so... You know, we've just got the little bit of fuel here, which will probably totally unbalance it. I was wrong! It won't! But yeah, obviously you can store fuel in these very large wings, which were also part of the mod. Along with, I think, a large wings. But yeah, look how fast this is, and look how easy it takes off. And look how easy it turns! Although this is probably incredibly aerodynamically unstable, and this is probably a really bad idea. Seriously. Weirdly maneuverable, right? Sadly, this is probably more maneuverable than most of my fighters. Oh my god, it's still aerodynamically stable. This is better than most of my fighter aircraft. That is so depressing. But seriously, how freaking epic was that? I didn't even know it could do that. I think this might actually be aerodynamically stable, so it's more agile than air combat. Okay, this is definitely the kind of plane you want in... Like, this should be a bomber, really. Seriously, just... Just, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little I'm a little blown away by how maneuverable this is. Um, okay, so I'm gonna line up with the wrong way and try and land this because it's actually surprisingly easy to land. I will crash it, but it is sometimes surprisingly easy to land. I actually landed it without a front wheel on stream. Um, that was pretty awesome. Uh, footage now. If you're ever drunk and you really need to drive somewhere, just do some cocaine. You'll be fine. Uh, howdy, Grugans. Someone says, "Dang it, spelled it wrong." Oh my god. Ooh, about to hit the ground. Where we? You can do it, tape. No, I can't. Just quickly Skype call Scott Manley. Get him to do it for me. And then he'll be like, "Who the hell are you? Stop calling my Skype." With every little KSP problem you have, and I'll be all like, "Ah." Oh. Okay. Oh my God. We're coming down. Flare! Don't flare! Oh! Oh! Ooh, ooh, no! Ooh! Yeah! Motherfucker! Hell yeah! Yeah, I don't even need wheels! Ow. I don't know if I actually put that in, but if I did, that was me landing it without a front wheel. Uh, yeah, this is actually a little bit unstable. But seriously, weirdly maneuverable. I think this would make like a great tactical bomber. Like a really big one. Oh, what did I lose? Oh yeah, my payload! I totally forgot that I had a truck in here! 
Yeah, I had a truck in there. Doesn't drive very well inside um, the plane, though, so... Ooh, that's going to be hard to land with loose cargo. I can't see it being a problem. Okay, let's pull around for a landing. Yeah. Uh, I had a truck in there I was going to show off, but it doesn't drive in the, like, bit, so... I just ended up doing that lame intro, so... Yeah! Seriously, though. Really cool mod. There's also some awesome rockets, like some, uh, the Russian, uh, like... Uh, a moon rocket, actually, I'll show you in a bit. Uh, there's a few other things, but it, it's mostly the awesome planes, but there are, it does cover a lot of things, and a lot of habitation modules, a lot of just generally cool stuff. So, yeah, you should definitely check this mod out. It's amazing. Anyway, let's land this, and then we'll just kind of look at all the parts and go crazy. Just go crazy. Just literally go insane. We'll literally sit here and lose our minds. Literally, they'll just go. We'll, we'll get to go insane. Mm-hmm, sound good? Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> Anywho, what a pleasant flight. What a weirdly, slightly unstable, weirdly too maneuverable plane. I, I blame these massive wings. No, I blame Jebediah Kerman. It's his fault, because of his awesomeness. He's all like, oh, this is a fighter, right? what are you talking about? This is a commercial jet, Jebediah. Nah. Let's just, let's just fly it like a stunt plane. Jebediah, you're going to get us all killed. There are 300 passengers on this plane. Nah. Anyway, let's just land this. Okay, this is going to be real bad. Oh my god, that's a nosedive! Pull up! What are you t Wow, it is weirdly maneuverable. I am a perfect plane builder. See? Perfect landing. There goes the cargo. Oh, I only have... F oh yeah, usually I put more wheels on. I realize I only put three wheels on as opposed to like five. It's fine! See? It's totally fu- oh, okay, no, now it's not fine. Alright, that didn't, let's just revert and forget that ever happened. 17.8, jeez. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's go to the VAB and look at everything else, because there's a lot of cool rocket parts and weird, like, habitation parts. I forget how many there are, but there are quite a lot. I think it's relatively heavy mod, so I would, yeah, if you're super modded already, you know, maybe don't add it, but uh, maybe check, I don't know. What's the worst that'll happen? You'll get a few crashes. I mean, sure. Anyway, there's some cool probe cores. I mean, there's the basic kind of do not stay put necked because it's like the stay put necked but without the bottom bit. And now it'll just roll away like a ball. There's the Ranger Advanced Pro. Whoa. I actually, that's all. Oh my god, that's such a cool fairing for that probe. Seriously. I actually haven't seen that before, but look how cool that is. It's just like, what? Fairing. Awesome. That's cool. I'm a very big fan of this. Big fan of this mod. Um. Yeah, what's this for? Mounted with batteries for extended operation and a set of more powerful reaction wheels. Yeah, it looks like it could be uh, pretty useful for, uh, you know, taking stuff about. And there's obviously the, well, I don't know why I said obviously, but there's this, this probe core as well, which has like a bunch of xenon gas because it can be like ion powered. And it looks like it has a transmitter and shit, so that's all good. Um, do they have anything else? Oh yeah, they have the actual lunar excursion. Well, obviously, in real life, it would be the lunar excursion ascent stage. But yeah, the lunar excursion ascent stage. Ascent stage. I cannot speak very well today, which is good. And obviously, the truck cabins for making your trucks. Um, these trucks. These trucks. Ha! <laughs> and uh, ooh, big old lander can. Way bigger lander can. Hadn't noticed that before, but there's a really big lander can. That would probably be very useful for landing. All right. Okay. Let's see what else. Let's see what else they got. In the fuel tanks, they've got um, these weird things. These just kind of radial tanks, which could be pretty useful for the outside of your spacecraft. Like a bunch of decoupl uh, like couplers, but they're planes. The main, the coolest thing they have is these five meter parts. Um, look at how, look how five meters that is. Uh, this is a three point seven foot. Oh no, okay. Apparently that one isn't five meters, but there are some five meter parts. They just take some finding. All right, okay. So this is that is the stock one. <laughs> yeah, this is the one I'm thinking of. They have five meter tanks, so kind of like KW rocketry. I actually think if you're looking for a slightly more extensive and less crazy mod, this is actually probably better than KW rocketry, because I guess this kind of does like B9 and KW rocketry's job, which is quite good. So yeah, so five meter parts is pretty awesome. Are there any bigger than five meters? Because, you know, five meters is for bitches. No, but oh my god, proper Saturn V looking, looking thing. Oh, and the most awesome bit is... Okay, let's let's build this big old Russian rocket. The N1 is it? Oh, I don't know. I've pretty pretty out of touch today, but I'm pretty sure it's like the N1 or something like that. Um, uh, where's the where's the where's the where's the face engine? Yeah. Okay. All right. I love the Russian rocket. It's so big and dumb. 
Is this decoupled, do you suppose? Panels, they got all that stuff. It just basically extends it. They add a bunch of cool stuff to it, like, you know, a big old crew cab. And you get the idea at this point. You can look through it yourself. Oh, and the uncool one of the cooler things is... Oh, yeah, okay. Is this. Yeah, you're damn right you can land it. You can litho break now. You just... You just land it on inflatable airbags. Um, or this sort of thing. You know how they landed the original Mar Mars rovers? Yeah, you can do that now. Yeah. Alright, back to my search for decouplers. Okay, where are you? Where are you? Ooh. Nope, those are air intakes. Oh, they have some cool air intakes as well. <laughs> um, oh, I just didn't think they'd look like that for some reason. Even though, obviously, they'd look like that. Because that's... Kind of what you'd expect. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that meshes quite nicely. Okay, cool. Now we can fly this thing. I should probably put a heavier payload on it. Um, I should probably put some fairings on it. I totally forgot this was new KSB. Uh, not that I've been playing anything else in ages. So let's just build some random crap with the new parts. Okay, you can't really do much with that. And let's go to space! Look how cool. Now in real life, all those engines would be failing. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, the Soyuz has just a shit ton of engines. Because it has, like, I think four on the booster, uh, the four on the main booster and four on each outer booster. And it has four boosters and one inner, so in total, when it first lights up, what does it have, like, 20 engines going? That's insane. Uh, but yeah, works these days. Although they don't have to work quite as in unison, because imagine gimbling all of these, like, don't show me my orbital speed, you stupid game. I hate that. I hate when it changes that for me, especially with targeting. I mean, who are you to tell me? I don't know. It's just one of those things that annoys me. But yeah, going pretty well. Pretty good launch. No one in the cockpit, obviously, because it's a probe. <laughs> and I'm probably going to slam this into something. Maybe I can just hit the moon. Yeah, I'm coming up on the right. Let's see how well it works. No deceleration. Just hit the moon. Yeah. Okay. In my opinion, everything should land like the Dragon 2. Even on Earth. I think that's really cool. How it lands on engines. Or will land on engines. Unlike just a bit of a bit of sheet. And then slamming into the ground. Kind of like a crash. I mean. You know. I mean, come on, Boeing. Step your game up. Yeah! Second stage! Yeah! Yeah! Ah, uh, anyway. <laughs> it's such a cool rocket, I love this mod. I was so surprised when I found these parts, because I've been like playing around with the really big cargo parts as well. We should really add them to Collaborative Warfare, but I don't know, it might just cause more RAM crashes, and that is so not what you want. We already have quite a few RAM crashes. Um, but you know, it's, yeah, it could be good. Because, you know. Um. It could be good to have those giant planes, although they do seem a little overpowered. Which obviously Penguin needs. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Okay, if you don't watch Collaborative Warfare, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but I'm slandering my enemy. I mean, talking the truth about my enemy. And if you don't watch Collaborative Warfare, what the hell are you doing, bro? Go watch Collaborative Warfare after this. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, this has, like, no talk. <laughs> oh, we'll just wait for it to come back around. Anywho. That looks like it has full mass of it. Oh, yeah, it'll have really big engine bells because, well, it's a... They're space engines for in space. You want bigger engine bells in space because, um... I don't know the exact physics about it, but you do. So... Okay. Ah, oh, thank you, engine gimbal. You are my only friend. <laughs> wow, Peter. Your only friend is Engine Gimbal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can deploy them and not... Ah, oh, thank you. I've been so used to the KW rocketry firing, so I've been playing them in my career mode. Also with Interstellar Ex Extended, which I should probably also take a look at. Look at that. Pretty little pattern of not dying. Because, you know, you're not going to die with this. Well, you might. It depends how hard I hit the moon, really, doesn't it? Okay, right, well, that's good enough, because I don't have to come back round again, and I'm just going to go right to the moon, apparently, because apparently I'm just doing that. 
yeah, go to the moon pretty easy. We choose to go to the moon not because it is easy, but because it is very easy. Once you get it, basically just when the moon comes over the horizon, throttle up. <laughs> That's how I do it, at least. Or do a maneuver node, I guess. You know, that too. If you're lame. No, maneuver nodes are your friends. Just like Gimbal is my friend. Oh. Yeah. Big ol' engine bells. Not a ton of thrust. I mean, loads of thrust. Fucking hell, that's a lot of thrust. <laughs> 1,100 kilonewtons. Yeah, seriously, this rocket will get you anywhere, probably. I don't know, I haven't tested it. I'm just making a sales pitch at this point. Okay, and moon is- Fuck. Just keep going further. Ah, fuck, yeah, okay. Slow down. Ah, damn it. The only turn authority I have is my engine. Right, there we go. Near enough, let's just fix this later. That's how I do space travel. I don't know, man. Fix it later? Okay, progress. Right, I got this. I have to burn my engines to change my direction, so I keep changing my course. This is going horribly. Just horribly. Hey, Moon. Coming for you. Son of a bitch. Me and the Moon don't get along. Keeps killing my Kerbals. And I keep mining its resources. It's actually a pretty good system. Because I don't care about Kerbals. Not as bad as that Keythane mod where you could lit... Son of a whore! Okay, cool. Suicide burn? Seems about right. Fuck it, we'll change this when I actually get to the moon. Ugh, yeah. Do anyone remember the Keythane mod? Where <laughs> you could actually put Kerbals into this thing and it would give you fuel? How dark was that? The answer is pretty dark. The fu- Ah, oh, damn, we're out of electric charge. Please tell me there's a cheat for this. Fuck. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, this is over. And, oh, it's telling me my frame rate, which is nice. Fuck, I was gonna hit it with the moon. Okay, well, whatever. Well, I guess, will it hit the Earth? I mean, Kerbin. Yeah, it'll stay in orbit forever. Well, this is doomed to do boring shit. Ooh, I have a plan. Oh yeah, it has no power control. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, well, anyway. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I'm sorry that that all just disappeared. Um, disappeared? Just stopped working. I'm sorry if I got to include power generation. But yeah, this is a really good mod. It's linked in the description. I advise you go check it out. It's awesome. It has so many cool things. And it's just a really good extension to the stock game. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been Cast with Tape. I will see you next time. And uh, we will have our revenge. We will go to war. We will fight them on the beaches. We will fight them on the airfields, I want to say. We will fight them in the skies. We will fight them in the kebab shops. We will fight them on the street. We will fight them in the space, but not really. Cause